Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is a nature read, which is timeless. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful or handsome, and you are kind. These readings will always resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone might be enlightened by them. So to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone of this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. Okay, so yeah, nature read. Nature read because it's a nice day, and uh, I think you guys can see a little bit of the outside, right? Kind of. Brian just ran out there. Anyhow, I want to see what's going on uh, for the collective. Um, the combination of cards is different. I don't know. I just randomly... I did actually dig for these ones, so let's start out with these. I got the I Spy cards. Um... No, 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 I want to save these till the end. Sorry, sorry. All right, so let's get started. These are the, this is the Kipper deck, all right? All the cards have been pre-shuffled. Just going to find out for uh, what's going on for whoever came, who's, whoever's coming to this video, right? Collective reading. Forever, whoever shows up because they feel like they want to see what's going on. Right? <clears throat> what kind of story I got today. Ha, <laughs> let's see. All right, so I'm, I'm going to try and get three cards here. For, uh, whoever is coming to this reading this may or may not go into a uh, part two so I'm not sure you guys you know how that is all right so let me get three cards oh shoot Let's see what we have here, you guys. So starting out here, we have a journey, right? Somebody may be deciding to travel or take some sort of journey, or maybe you have planned to take this, right? Obviously from one spot to the next, right? This could be anywhere. This could be a vacation or something like that. Who knows? Uh, but the number 10 card uh, is also signifying an end of a cycle. So somebody might be leaving somewhere because they are, and next they are heading out on this journey, right? Like that. <clears throat> Excuse me, I need, to, I need to get a drink. My, my throat feels weird. I'm not blaming it on anything. But it is kind of, um, it is a weird feeling. All right, so we have the journey, okay? Ending of cycle. Somebody may be leaving after whatever has happened. And then we have the 19 card. Now, 19 also reduces to 10, which also uh, signifies ending of cycles. But it also means beginning of new cycles. All right. Now, somebody, um, okay. Somebody here may have left some somewhere. And while they were gone, somebody may have passed. <clears throat> or somebody may have left somewhere and put their old selves to rest, right? Like they are no longer the person they used to be. Um, or they've decided to change their life completely, right? That's the old them, you know, something like that. And deciding to uh, start something new because these are two cards of new beginnings even though it's 10 and 19 journey and coffin for me I'm feeling that these are two cards representing new beginnings right for this for this reading particularly now we also have adjudication number 30 right reducing down to number three which could also signifies you know ascended masters type of energy whatever right protection but this is about also about you know the legal system look at the picture you know so there could be some sort of uh information received after somebody's death to the person who tr was traveling or um somebody could be le oh gosh this is no nah, that's a ridiculous thing i don't think but you know it's not far-fetched somebody could have also left somewhere because they hurt someone and it led to this and then going to court and going to prison, something like that could be somebody's story too, or a story, right? So let's just keep it moving here. Let's not focus too much on that because the more I look at it, the more crazier the story gets in my mind, <laughs> right? <clears throat> Sorry about the noise, you guys. We're, you know, we're camping. 
and and the place that we're at it's it's quite populated so not just that like i you know i've been here before and i've never seen it so full so you might hear extra okay sorry that's how it is though you guys you know all right see what kind of energies we can get for whoever came to this reading right what do we have for the viewer energy of the person who gave this reading. Whoa. Trying to get a couple more cards here though, okay. Nice. get one more card there it is there it is <clears throat> at the bottom of the deck we do have the fool card so that's telling me that somebody's trying to start something new take a leap of faith you know just going with their gut instincts and just going for it okay it could you okay it's it's either that because remember, didn't fly out the deck. It's either that or somebody is not willing to do that. Not willing to step forward. Not willing to go on this journey with someone. Or the journey, period. But I kind of feel like it's in the upright. Because we already have somebody here going on a journey. Right? So, take that how it resonates. If it resonates. All right, <clears throat> so this one was a secret, right? Queen of Cups, that's why, right? So there's a person in the reading, Queen of Cups. She's very nurturing and loving and kind, you know? She's very intuitive, too. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio could be the energies of the zodiac signs, whatever. You you or someone you know could have this in your in their chart, okay? It doesn't have to, you know, be, and you don't have to go searching for it, but the, the energy of this person is that she's very kind. She's very emotional, very loving, um, nurturing stuff like that, right? She's in the upright, so she's not trying to de be mean or any, you know. She's not she's not bullshitting around. Okay, she's a normal, nice lady, right? If it's a lady, could be male or female energy. You know what I mean? It's a normal, nice guy, right? Whatever. <clears throat> Next, we have the magician. All right. So the situation for this person is they are trying to manifest something into their life. Now this is in the upright, so that's good, right? At least there's no manipulation here. Somebody's trying to honestly, uh, you know, manifest something. Now, honest, how to honestly manifest something, I don't, I don't know. It just depends on how you do and what you do, processes you use or whatever, right? But when it's in the upright, there's no manipulation involved, right? There's not somebody out there trying to cheat anyone or do anything bad to get what they want. They're, you know, they're doing what they need to do and receiving, you know, for their good work, whatever, <clears throat> right? Now, at the end here, though, we do have the Ten of Rods. So that's like where it's like, oh, it's so good. And then wah, 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 right? It always happens. It always happens with the cards, you know? Um, somebody here has just got a big burden going on, though. Maybe somebody's working a little bit too hard to try to manifest whatever. And, and you know, it's very burdensome to them. Um, I'm also getting maybe somebody, you know, you, you got too much going on for you, you know? You got too much on your plate trying to manifest something and you know you're being nice and and you're trying to manifest something but you're still doing too much you just got it on your plate you know what i mean um maybe you need to organize your time better more wisely something like that okay now i'm gonna i'm going to um clarify those three cards before i get to these two down here look how dark these cards though i just you know i just happened to glance down look how dark they are you know <coughs> Five of Blades and Knight of Blades. Let's go ahead and clarify this Queen of Cups. <clears throat> yeah, that's what, you know, that's what it is. I, I'm having a kind of a cough, you know, because the weather, it's like it'll get cold and then it'll get hot and then it'll get cold and then, you know, stuff like that's bound to happen, you know, the throat issues. <clears throat> it's not really hurting any anymore. It was, though. It was hurting in the past, but it doesn't hurt. It's just bothersome. 
so maybe I'm possibly getting over something that I didn't know I had. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. All right, so this Queen of Pentacles, she's not doing very good in the money department. She's not very stable either. All right, this could be financially or mentally, whatever, physically, whatever. But this person is not doing so good. Okay, um, it looks to you know when we're talking about Pentacles, we're talking about being grounded, stable, balanced. There should no. No, not for her. Whoever that is, it's not for her. What else do we have for this Queen of Cups here? And and I'm also getting, if that seems to be the case, maybe this person wants to go on a journey, but they cannot because they are not uh, able to, you know. Uh, somebody might come in and make an offer, or this person might make an offer to somebody which will allow them to take a journey. It could be that too, right? This is about finding uh, resources and help right here. <clears throat> Whoever this Queen of Cups is, whatever whatever she's got going on in her life, she's not very stable, so she's she may make an offer somewhere to someone or somebody may offer her something. Some, okay. I don't know who's watching this. All right. But it looks like somebody around here, you or someone you know, or it's maybe it's just a story, entertainment for versus only, remember? Somebody here is hoeing around. I'm sorry to say it like that. Because, you know, and, and this is about somebody who, who there's no love. That, and I know it could be because of the Six of Cups normally means lovers. Uh, or and it, if it's in reverse, it means they're not getting along, blah, 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 blah. Right? But given the cards around it, somebody being unstable, making, in, making offers or somebody offering them, you know, kind of soliciting when it has to do with love. But it's not love. It's in the reverse. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I'm getting that, right? That might be for someone, not for everyone. Now, it could be that one person is offering that out, or it could be that somebody's going to come in and try to offer that to this person, knowing that they don't have good finances or they're unstable or whatever, right? That could be another situation because, you know, offering like sex for services or whatever, right? That's terrible. I'm just saying right now, okay? That's why I'm, I don't know who's watching this. So hopefully this is just one of those entertainment, you know, reading, interesting, whatever. Okay. All I got to say is there I, I see so many places hiring out there. That's all I got to say about that. Especially, you know, it seems like you're all together with your emotions. You're good. You're nice. You're nurturing. Don't be that nurturing. Not to people out there. Get, helping you for what? A lot of places are hiring. That's just some a little tiny, teeny, tiny bit of advice. Look at the bottom of the deck. We have the three of swords. So maybe, maybe what's going on here is the only reason somebody is doing that is, you know, yeah, they're at their low. Okay. But essentially, this is someone that just does not love themselves. They hate themselves for something, some something that they did in their life or so, I don't know what, because, I, you know, I remember when I was doing bad, uh, I mean, I wasn't doing that, but, but I was putting toxic things into my body. Why? Because I didn't love myself. I didn't care whether I lived or died, whatever, right? Maybe this person feels like that because that's also a death sentence to be just given like that, you know, that's not uh, safe practices. No, it's really not. So somebody could be um, just traumatized from for something from something from that has happened to them uh, that actually could have broken their heart really you know because we got the three of swords at the bottom of the deck you know this is about being really hurt you know all right let's see what this magician card is this is a trippy ass reading what's the magician about okay. Four of Wands, right? Celebrating with others, family, friends, whatever. Or, you know, soulmate energy. Right, so we could be trying to manifest a soulmate. You know, that's just going to happen when it happens. You know, you could say, calling in my soulmate until you're blue. Your soulmate could be sitting right beside you when you say that. But will it happen? Who knows? Depends on your, you know, whether or not you have healed from other things. Seven of uh, Pentacles. This also doubles as the Star card. 
and the card of healing. All right, let's get going. Okay. We have the four of swords here. It's about some, this is also doubling as a death card. So we have two major arcanas already right here. All right, we have the death card, the star card, and we have the soulmate card. All right. It, it, it could also be that somebody might be coming back. Somebody is trying to manifest somebody who may come back, maybe somebody from the past who has ended, you have already ended something with it, but they might maybe heal something, possibly. That's maybe what somebody might be trying to manifest in. I, I don't know. Let's go with that Ten of Rods and see what that's about. What is this Ten of Rods here? Okay. Now the burden is there is you know something having to do with a, a, pa a new passion. Right. Now we, when we have the Ace of uh, Wands there, that you know this is a phallic symbol usually. Uh, it doesn't look like that right here on this card, but on other cards it does, and that's what it may represent. Uh, you know, somebody having passion for another person, like they want to have sex or something like that. You know what I'm saying? That's what that is. Um, so if you're dealing with that, and, and that's not really your you know, get down, just know that there's somebody out there that's possibly trying to, you know, hook it up or whatever, I guess. And then we have uh, two of wands having a discussion about doing so, obviously. It doesn't just happen out of nowhere, right? having some sort of heated debate, uh, but somebody here is juggling or somebody needs to use their intuition because this card also doubles as the uh, high priestess. Somebody needs to use their intuition. And I think that's what they're going to do. You know why? Because somebody here is into love, uh, not just passion. You know what I'm saying? You want to start something new in love. They don't, you know, and uh, my, I have a suggestion for that too, you guys, you know, uh, if anything, start with friendship because, you know, um, that's for people. That's for those of you who are um, interested in something long term. If you um, if you are not, then I guess do whatever you do. Uh, but just remember, just giving out your energy like that, it's it brings your your energy levels. You know, it's, it's not good for you. Um, whether you like to believe that or not, it's not good to be just randomly giving your energy to passer buyers, people who are probably not worthy of it. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, you're going to do what you're going to do anyway. So that's what that, that's, you know, that's okay with that. <clears throat> For me, I just say I, I protect my energy big time. So, you know, but that's just me. All right. So, um, let's see. We have the five of blades right here. The five of blades is, uh, now... The position of the five of blades right here now we also have this is the obstacle right it's the obstacle or it could also be the advice right but i don't think the advice is lie right because this is a liar card for me it's a deception and lies you know um so you know the obstacle is somebody trying to avoid being lied to or avoid lying so let's find out why why is this uh five of blades here Okay, this has to do with longevity. Something is not forever. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, it's not forever. It's momentarily. So somebody here might be lying. It might be a liar around. Talking about, oh, yeah, I want to do this. I want to do, okay. Well, they, but they're lying. Look. Look. We have the Seven of Swords right here. Okay. This person has no security. This person is very deceptive. They follow through on their deceptions too. All right. 